Here's a plasmoid called Veromix. It's a uh, sound control plasmoid. So by default, the KD has the K mix, uh, you know, the mixer that you can do. But the thing is, you have to open it and then you have to change, um, you know, the volume for the different events. This one's a little bit more convenient, so I'll show you how to install it right now. Uh, just go right click on here and go to Add Widgets. And go to Get New Widgets here. And then we go to Download. Search for Veromix and install the first one you see. Um, so that's that. You do also have to install the dependencies, which I'll link you to the page and just install the requirements. All right. Now after all that, uh, right click on here again and then Add Widgets. And now just search for Veromix and it should show up here. All right. Uh, so this is your sound control. Uh, this is what it looks like. But if you want to dock it, which is what we're going to do, drag it in here. And there you go. This is your, you know, how it looked like. Right. And you can control uh, different sound events for, you know, different things. Uh, let's say if I'm playing music, let me mute it here first, though. So if I'm playing like music, let's see, must. Right, so I'm playing a the song there, and you can see when you click on here, it says CMOS, and you can control you know the volume for that from here, and that's a little bit convenient. So if you're playing like uh, maybe a song or something from your browser, uh, or maybe a video or something, you can control it from here, um, and you have all access to all other stuff like this my master uh, control here, and even my sound events if I want to mute that. Uh, so that's what they have here. They do have some other controls. So you right click on here, you go to Vero, Vero Mix settings here. Uh, this first one, appearance, you can do some stuff. Um, what I would probably recommend is probably use tabs and get rid of the stupid meter. Because by default they have this little meter next to it. I don't really know why, but uncheck that stucker. And I think that's the only two I'll probably recommend. All right. So you hit OK, and this one is a little bit different because it's going to be organized. So you have different tabs for the playback and record, so you can you know separate the two. Uh, so that's that. You can also do this little arrow thing next to it, and it'll give you options of uh, you know the the front left and, and the front right or whatever other settings they have in here that you can do like uh, different sound controls. Uh, so that's that. And let's go back to the settings in here. What else do they have in here? Media control. What is that? Media play controls. Not really that important. There's some pulse audio if you're using that, and some keyboard shortcuts. Another keyboard shortcuts and share. But you don't really have to do much. The appearance part, uh, for the most part, using the tabs. Uh, I think that's about it. You know, uh, would I recommend you replace it? Um, I'm not really sure of how stable this one is, so I, I'd probably say try it out for like a week or two, and if you like it, then you know replace your K-Mix, because K-Mix you have to open this, and it's really not that convenient. The selling point of this uh, plasma is that you can control all your, um, you know, uh, your sound uh, events on uh, one screen here, uh, really quick. So that's it for that. If you want to try it out, just go ahead and install it.